All right. Now, the next step is to try to make this, uh, this bounce. But before I want to do so, I want to add, um, I want to add a, a base. Why do I want to add a base? Because I want it to not just fall and keep falling. I want it to stop falling so that I can easily control it. Now, again, there are many ways to add a base. But a quick way is to go to Game Object and uh, click on 3D Object. And here we can just add, um, let's say, a cube. All right, so I have the cube that's right above it. So I'm going to take that cube and modify it. I'm going to put it down. So on the uh, y-axis, I'm going to move it down. And uh, here I'm moving it to, let's say, negative 2.5. OK, so it's right below, but I want to make it bigger. So in the scale, on the, on the z-axis, I'm going to, I'm sorry, on the x-axis, I'm going to increase the x-axis scale so that it becomes more uh, wider. All right. And um, I'm going to go all the way. Here we go. And for the y-axis, I'm going to increase that as well to take more room. Here we go. And I'm going to move it down even more. All right, so technically, we have a base now. So we have a ball and a base that can bounce around it. But so if we want it to bounce, we need to add physics. And um, as you can see, the cube already comes with a box collider. That's great. And the uh, sphere comes with also a sphere collider. So it knows when both of them can collide together. 